Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the, how to select the multicast address and second thing is a uh, multicast to packet that is uh, created in the network layer um, that uh, the packet which have assigned the address at the network layer so how it should be delivered to the data link layer okay so let's start so first thing is selecting the multicast address So I am removing this. Selecting the multicast address. This selection can be done on the two different bases. Number one is at the limited group for the limited group. And second one is for the large group. then so at large group what we have to do simply we have to take that multicasting address in the ssm block ssm block uh, i have already discussed all the blocks range wise which are based on the range in the previous video so do refer to that so ssm block is in the range to 2.000 by 8 okay so this it is all about the large group but for the, what is the for limited group so for limited group there may be the two values chosen for the x and y okay so and then we will create the range by using this for example, if we have taken the range as the 91 and 0.156. So, what will be the range? 233.91 point that uh, is the 156, 156 and 0.22 okay and uh, it will be the higher limit and what will be the lower li limit lower limit will be the at same 233.91.156.0 so it will be the addressing for the limited group so let's take an example that in a college a professor want to take a class so uh, address which will be in between these will be assigned to the professor and which is available let's say there is one professor which is taking class at the this multicasting address at 0.156.22 then if the second professor is requesting for this multicasting address then this address will not be provided him or her and this uh, which address will be provided which is uh, free not busy so let's say we the address 40 has been appointed to the next professor okay so it was all about the selecting the multicast now come to that to how the uh, multicast packet are delivered at the second level that is the data link data link layer level so let's say we have an example of the multicast address at network layer So, um, be before it, let's understand that how it can be converted. So, let's, this is the 32-bit multicast address. Okay. So, these are the 32-bit and we have taken the least significant 23-bit of the multicast address. 
and we transfer all these as the 23 bit of the physical address. address as it is and then these are the 15 bit which have been added before it and thus it will form the ethernet address and thus a multicast address can be converted to the address at the data link layer okay and the second thing is that what if a network a network does not support a network does not support the multicast then then what we will do we will use this 10 length system so this was the multicast ip address we will encapsulate it inside a unicast ip datagram and assign the new header and then it will be sent as the unicast as the unicasting through the network but when it will reach to its destination it will be decapsulated and will be uh, will be get here in the form of the multicast ip address so that was it is thank you